Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at graphics in Microsoft Word. We're going to be inserting a picture and editing the image, formatting the image so that we are able to change the appearance of the image to what we need it to be. To insert an image into a document, you need to go to the insert ribbon. So we click on insert to pull up the ribbon. And we will be working specifically with the illustrations and the text groups. When you insert a picture, you can insert a picture from this device or from an online source. When you insert a picture from this device, you can insert a picture that's saved on this computer or flash drive, external drive, or maybe a, a memory card that you have handy that you can plug into the computer and access the information on it. The online picture sources allows us to go onto the internet to download a picture. So let's say for example we'd like a picture of a strawberry cheesecake. Type in your criteria in the search bar and you can now go ahead and press enter to search. So, look, you can scroll through the image until you find the picture that is right for you. Creative Commons when it's checked means that these pic images come with uh, restrictions but that allows you to use without modification. If you uncheck the Creative Commons, these images, while small and possibly better looking, uh, these images come with copyright considerations. For the purpose of this video, we will look at images from the Creative Commons category. So I'm going to go ahead and download this picture. So to tell the computer that this is the image I want, I need to click on it. You will notice the selection around it as well as a check mark on the top right hand corner to insert it into my document or to download it from the internet and place it onto my document I need to either click on the insert button or place the mouse over the image and double click. Once the image is downloaded you automatically get the picture tools contextual ribbon and in this instance, we also get the Drawing Tools Contextual Ribbon. The Picture Tools Contextual Ribbon allows us to make adjustments to the picture, to add styles, to arrange the image, and to size the image. Looking at the picture, we can size the image using these handles, the resize handles. These resize handles, these little circles here, if you place the mouse on them, it shows you the direction in which the image can be resized. Resizing an image using the handles can skew the image, taking it out of proportion if you are not careful. So let's undo and get the image in its original proportion. If you use the dialog hand, sorry, if you use the handles, that are diagonal, it is possible to size the image whilst keeping the image dimensions or the aspect ratio. Additional changes we can make to this image. We can correct the image by adding, by softening it or adding contrast, increasing the contrast and the brightness. Here now we have a brightness at 40% and contrast at 20%. Observe the changes on the, on the picture. 
brightness at minus 40%, contrast at minus 20%. This brightness and contrast set at zero is the normal or original image settings. If we wanted to make this picture brighter, we can go ahead and do that by choosing the option. We can recolor the image by changing the saturation. And again, as I hover the mouse over the tones, you see the changes being applied to the image. Likewise, the original color of the image, you can set the image to black and white. We can make the image green accent color, number six, dark. Or we can set the picture to wash out. A washed out image, as you can see, makes the image very light. If you apply a color and you realize that it is not what you want, there are two things you can do. You can either recolor the image or you can use the undo button to get back the original. Artistic effects can be applied to the image and again as we have the mouse over the artistic effects you will see marker pencil grayscale I'm not going to go through all of these I'm just going to choose a few this is called film grain cut out glue edges here the first option is always none we can apply further changes picture styles we can change the shape of the picture soft oval edges again change the shape of the picture we can apply picture effects we can add a reflection we add a reflection, you see the reflection under here. We can put a glow around the image. We can add a border to the image. Of course, if we choose soft edges, we cannot put a border. But if we choose a picture that has a picture style that has a border, we can then put a border color and a width. Alright, so we're going to delete this label by selecting it and clicking on delete to get the image without the label. To remove the image, you simply click on the image and press delete. To get the image back if you've accidentally deleted it, you simply undo. Now again, the resize handles can be used to change the size of the image. And you can now use the rotation handle to rotate the image. Feel free to download an image and play with some of these settings until you get the hang of it. Here I have a document you've seen before. The poem, Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman. Except now we're gonna see the entire poem. If I would like to insert an image on this document, I need to place the image in a manner and in a position that does not prevent me from being able to read the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, empty space and I'm going to insert an image. So I'm going to click on insert picture online pictures and given the nature of this poem I'm going to choose a picture of the beach. 
So type in my criteria, press enter, the search, and I would like something peaceful, so this image. Again, I'm going to insert the image using the insert button. I'm going to select this bar, delete it. So I know I have just the image. Now, I've selected, I've inserted the image and it's pushed my text all the way down. What I'm going to do is I want this image to be behind my text. How do I do that? Again, I'm going to the picture tools contextual ribbon and I'm going to change the wrapping. I'm going to wrap my text to set this picture to be behind the text. Now I'm going to stretch my image. That's the nice thing about a sunset picture. If you stretch it, it doesn't necessarily change the image up too much. And if you look at this, you realize that my text is visible in parts, but not visible in some parts. I'm going to select my text and I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to select my image going to picture tools and I'm going to correct this image. If I make the image brighter, then I can now clearly read my text in the image. I can further enhance this image. I can use soft edges. And there we go. My text is clearly visible and it's in the foreground of the image, the image being in the background. Now, if we look at this image, we have an issue because there is a line of text on it. The copyright information. If we wanted to cut that out or edit that out or remove part of the picture, we could simply click on crop, place the mouse on the handles and drag it once, click on crop again. Now I do not recommend you removing the copyright information from anybody's images because you can get in trouble for that. But there you go. Image behind text. We're going to further edit this document, edit this document by making the first line captain my captain. We're going to turn these words into word art. So we're going back into the insert ribbon and I'm quickly going to go into word art. Choose a word art style. And my text, I place my word art, and my text is now treated as a graphic. I can size this graphic because you realize that. My text has run on into a second page. I'm now working on page one of two. I can make this smaller where it takes up less space. Remove some space and we're back. Not quite. And here we go, we're on page one of one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video.
ده بجد ايه